okay we're about to part five um, yes I've figured out this uh, problem um, here after the second file we need to concatenate back onto um, the end of the uh, little complicated bit so um, just pause the video there and copy that the best you can <laughs> I might actually put it in the video description because it'll be pretty much the same for everyone um, so let's save that out and let's see what it looks like so it looks a bit like that as you can see it looks a bit bit weird um, if we actually go back to files.html that's what it'll look like um, but what we need to do is create a little bit more better that's why we need the if statement because we don't want to, we also don't want to show um, these files because then anyone can just get access to the files which we don't want so if you go back to dream either so before the echo here um, if I just create an if statement and in this if statement we're going to say if the file is e is the same as um, so you need two equals and basically if whatever you put in here it will stop uh, whatever it will not show what file that is if you know what I mean so file if the file has just got a dot as the name we don't want that to show up create or which is um, if you hold down the shift key and press the button next to Z or um, shift it's in between shift and Z on my keyboard anyways I think that's all, all of them um, it, and basically it's next to the, sh the left shift key it's where the uh, the backslash is you press shift and press that button anyway so basically we create another one if file is equal to and we're going to say if it's got two dots now you only really need two dots in it you don't really need to put three or anything so basically what we're going to say then is if the file is the same as file dot php which is what we created then don't show that file basically just name every file that you don't want to be shown um, yeah it gets a little repetitive um, so what was the other one uh, show files dot php was it or html uh, it was probably html um, yeah and then after that we need to basically say um, continue with the rest of the script so if we save that out and refresh we basically get nothing so then if I if I um, if I show you the final script now go back to the original index if I click on browse and upload a certain file it'll say upload complete click here to view files you click here and you get to this page but we're not seeing anything uh, let me just find out why as you can see it's been imported into the uploaded part so as you can see the upload script has worked but we're not actually physically seeing the file uh, why would that be um, We also need to block out there. I don't know why it's not shown. Um, which will be the um, the full path. Dot PHP. Don't know why that's not showing up. Let's see if it works anyway. No. Um, yeah. So just try. Just try that. It should show up. I don't know why it's not showing up on mine. Um, let's just try getting rid of these here just to see if that works uh, so if we save that no um, it should work basically anyway I'll um, I'll talk you through the script and if you have any problems just um, leave a comment or send me a message um, and just uh, I'll try and help out the best I can so basically what this script is doing 
Um, if you don't want to know what the script is doing, then you can just stop the video here. But um, if you want to know, then um, basically this variable here is just basically the path of your uploaded directory. Um, your full path. If you're on a web server, you'll have a load of other nonsense folders that you don't know of that your uh, web host doesn't tell you about. Uh, basically, this is a variable called directory, which basically just opens up, opens up the directory of this path, which is that. So it opens up that. If it cannot open up that, it will just say cannot open and the path name. And um, this while loop, will so loop around the file. So the file is equal to read directory and read that directory. So basically, it's just going to keep reading that directory. Um, so if the file um, has just got a dot in it, if the file has got that, if the file is named that, that's basically what it's saying. If the files are named as that, um, then basically um, don't show them and continue the script and echo out the file name with the, the link of the file. And then um, this bit is just saying close the directory and the directory. Um, variable which will come back up to that. I'll just run that script again. So, so that's basically just the script. Um, it should um, show the files there. If I just um, if I delete all them and get ones I created earlier. Um, if I just close all these. I'm trying to delete it now. Uh, Vista. Ah, it can stay there anyways. Um, if I go to ones that I created earlier, um, which will be in here, um, if I just copy them into where is it? Into there, and in the upload directory, if I just copy these files, I can see I've used all PHP scripts, but you don't need to use all PHP script. So if I do them, and if I actually come back and try the script again, and uh, so if I upload, upload complete, click here to files, that's what it'll look like. Um, I don't know why it's not showing up on that other script. Um, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. It's the same script. Uh, basically, and then you just click on that and it'll tell you to fi download the file, open, save, cancel, all the usual stuff. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.